Hello everyone, I am Adarsh, lecturing with Yashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. My subject, Accountancy. In Accountancy, we are discussing about accounting for share capital. So we are in session 6. So we already discussed about what is accounting for share capital as well as we did few problems on accounting for share capital. Before this, go back to your previous session. In that, in detail, we worked out one problem on share capital. It will be helpful for your coming problems. In today's session, we'll solve one problem. So it will be your 12 marks problem as well as your question paper problem. Now, in this, XYZ Trading Company Limited issued 10,000 shares. As I told you, while reading question, you have to remember few numbers. One is number of shares. How many number of shares are there? There are 10,000 shares in this. 100 each. They have given called ordinary shares. What do you mean by ordinary? Ordinary shares means there is equity shares. Of rupees 100 each at a premium of rupees 10. So, Actual value is how much? 100. Premium, what we should do? We should add. Now, actual value how much now? 100 plus 10. Total value is 110 rupee. As I told you, whatever total we got, we should match with individual installments. Now, how much your application? 20. Allotment? 40. And first and final call, 50. What is the total? Total is 20 plus 40, 60. Plus 50, it is 110. So total of these three matches with your total value. Now, all the shares were subscribed, money duly received, except first and final call. Application, we don't have any problem. Allotment, we don't have any problem, but at the time of first and final, both are same. First itself, final. First and final call, rupees 50. First and final call on 500 shares. On 500 shares, amount are not paid. This will be discussed while doing journal entry. Now, we don't have problem with application. We don't have problem with allotment. We'll solve these two. For this, we'll come back later. These things will come back later. First, we'll solve application as well as allotment. Application. How many journal entries for application? We have two journal entries. How many journal entries for allotment? Allotment, we have two journal entries. No. First and second journal entry, which is all about application. What is a journal entry? Bank account to equally share application account. Then equally share application to equally share capital account. These are journal entries for application. Now, go back to your question. Number of shares, how much? 10,000. What is the application money? 20. Number of shares? 10,000, application money 20, if you multiply, your answer is 2 lakh and 2 lakh. Next journal entry amount will be same, 2 lakh, 2 lakh. Your application account is done. Now we'll go for allotment. For allotment, your number of shares how much? 10,000. What is your allotment? 40. 40 rupees per allotment but in the bracket they have mentioned including premium how much is your premium 10 rupee from the total value 40 you have to remove premium we'll go back to answer your allotment share allotment to share capital to share premium or else we can call it as security premium next bank account data to share allotment these are the journal entry for 
allotment of shares. Now, what is the number of shares? 10,000. What is the allotment? 40. 10,000 multiplied with 40. Your answer is 4 lakh. Any doubt? No. Next. After that, we have to bifurcate. Means, your share premium is how much? 10. 10,000 into 10 is 1 lakh. Out of 40, minus 10. What is the balance? 30. No. 10,000 into 30 is your share capital. Always remember, while doing allotment, whatever value they have given, you have to divide to 2. One is capital, other one is premium. In this problem, premium they have given rupees 10. Out of 40, if you remove 10, what is the balance? 30. 30 is for capital. Your allotment is done. What is the value of allotment? 4 lakh, 4 lakh, 4 lakh. This is all about your allotment of shares. 1, 2, 3, 4 journal entries over. Now, share first and final call account data to share capital and bank account to share first and final call account. Now, in this, number of shares how much? 10,000. Again, I'll go back to your question. Number of shares 10,000. What is the first and final call? Money 50. 10,000 into 50. How many shares are not paid? 500. Remember this. You have to remember number of shares, final call, money, and how many shares are not paid. We'll go back to your answer. Yeah. Now, share first and final call. Number of shares, 10,000. You have calculation here. Multiplied with 50. What is your answer? 5 lakh and 5 lakh. Simple. But Next journal entry, bank account data to share first and final call. In this, we have calculation. What calculation in this? Number of shares, how much? 10,000. Number of shares, how much? 10,000. How many members are not paid? 500 members are not paid. Minus 500. So, how many members are paid? 9,500. Any doubt? Again, I will repeat. Your total number of shares are 10,000, but 500 members are not paid at the time of first and final call. So, we have to cancel. We have to remove. Now, 10,000 minus 500. How many members are paid properly? 9,500 members are paid properly multiplied with what is your final call 50 9500 multiplied with 50 is your answer 4 lakh 75 4 lakh 75 this is all about what issue of shares now up to this we call it as issue of shares now cancellation cancellation means what 500 shares are not paid properly, so we are cancelling that shares. Now, equally share capital, two for feature, two first and final call. Simple calculation. Journal entry you have to remember, but calculation will be changed for every problems. Now, equally share capital. How many shares we are cancelling? 500. What is the actual value of share? Actual value is 100, not 10. Actual value is how much? 100. 500 into 10. Your answer is how much? 50,000. From this, what is your final call? Your final call is 500 into 50. We already know your final call is not paid. So, 500 into 50, 25,000. Now, you got this one, you got this answer also. Now, 50,000 minus 25, the difference we call it as your 
forfeited shares account. Simple calculation, but you have to remember these journal entries. Now, so after this, we'll go to eighth journal entry. Before that, we go back to your question. So these shares were reissued at rupees how much? 80. What is the actual value? 100. But they are selling at what price? 80. Now, in this journal entry, as you know, bank account that are forfeited shares account and equal share capital account. Now, how to calculate number of shares 500 at what price it is sold? It is sold at 80 rupees. Now, 500 into 80, your answer is how much? 40,000. Next, actual value is 100. Actual value is how much? 100. At what price it is sold? It is sold at 80. What is the loss? Loss is 20, 20 rupees loss. Now, 500 shares into 20. How much? 10,000. You got all the debit set. How to find out credit? Simple. 40,000 plus 10,000. Your answer is how much? 50,000. So, your next journal entry also over. Now, your last journal entry. Simple one. Share for future account data to capital reserve account. How to calculate? Share for future account data to capital reserve account. Simple calculation. Go back to your seventh journal entry. How much is your share for future? Your share for future is 25. Come to your eighth journal entry. How much is your share for future? 10,000. Whatever I'm marking with blue color, that is your for future. 25,000 minus 10,000. What is your answer? 15,000. So, as I told you in your last session, capital reserve means the excess amount which company have that can be used for capital purpose. Any purchase of capital asset or in case of issue of bonuses, they can use this reserve. This is called capital reserve account. For capital reserve, we don't have any calculation. For capital reserve, we have to find out from this and this. So, write on all the journal entries, write on the calculations also, so which are very important. So, this is your complete 12 marks question. Why? Because this is your examination problem itself. What is next? As usual, you have revision. Again, textbook as well as question paper problems we will solve in your next session. So this is all about your today's session. In today's session, we solved only one problem. So your homework will be write on the question, write on the journal entries and try to solve without seeing solution. Thank you.